Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. So, my name is Olaf, and uh, Konkurlund, but I will speak English to try to reach out to a broader audience today. Will we grow designed objects in the future? To answer this question, in my project, I broke it down into three parts. I wanted to look at the future, uh, 30 years ahead, I want to look at the society, how will we live and what will we demand? And I uh, also want to look at the production of the future. Then I want to see how that will affect uh, industrial design, since I'm going to be an industrial designer working with this. And as a third part, uh, I want to try to be a designer as a future designer and run a project. And here I choose to uh, design a very everyday object that I think will be around. I designed a salt and pepper shaker that you will have on a table. But I started with the future science and uh, I started to follow a lot of trends. I picked up 103 micro trends and to try to see the potential of them. And I also looked at the young generation, people born in the 90s that will create our future that we all will live in. From this, I could create four possible future scenarios from which I choose one. Uh, I call it repair and protect. And I foresee um, a stronger relationship uh, between the owner and the object. Uh, and I think uh, that's why you're gonna repair and take care of your objects longer. And I think uh, unique products will be uh, something for the future. And uh, that's why when you're gonna take more care. And I also foresee a cooperation between man and nature. I think that we will live together rather than benefit from the nature only. So I started with uh, form giving and uh, started to grow stuff. And I started on a very basic level, started with mold. This is for my desktop. It's uh, bread going bad, trying to direct how the mold is growing inside the jars. But I've uh, then advanced to uh, more interesting experiments at Karolinska Institute here in Stockholm. And here I am at the microbiology lab because I saw a very strong potential in this uh, bacteria trend. And that is bacteria that build up a material that we call biofilm. So on the picture here you can see uh, biofilm that uh, the bacteria has created. And I went to Karolinska back and forth to study this and study how uh, it look how we can use it and uh, how it will how it grow so I was also taking pictures of the growth process putting together in a time-lapse movie so here I had uh, interesting material to work with uh, and then I wanted to see how this would affect the industrial design or me as a designer how I will work with this in the future so I thought today we have contemporary sketch way of sketching and uh, to make contemporary products. And I was thinking we need new ways of sketching to make new products from new materials. That's when I started to, to work with um, paint, uh, aquarel paint. And if you put it on wet paper, it would spread much like uh, the bacteria colony would spread when, it, when it's growing. And uh, I wanted to continue with this. How can you sketch and work uh, without knowing exactly the outcome? So I, through a uh, interdisciplinary workshop with uh, researchers and designers, artists and uh, curators, and we were working with this question, can you sketch what kind of involve nature so so uh, you don't control the outcome to 100%. And the result of this was a uh, uh, process which ended up in the sketch model that you can see to the far right. It's a salt and pepper shaker that I designed. So I had this um, process, but I also wanted to come up with a way how to use the bacteria in production. So this is my solution for the future. That you uh, cast mold um, this matrix, 
is a gel containing nutrition for the bacteria. You remove the cast mold and then um, add bacteria on this. And the bacteria will start to grow and create this new biofilm material. And we wait a couple of days and after a while it will cover the whole piece as a second layer. And then you can kill the bacteria and remove the gel and you will have a product made from biofilm. <laughs> and it would look like much like this. <laughs> and uh, down to the right you can see the beautiful pattern that uh, the bacteria creates. And the good thing about this is that every piece that you produce will be unique. So you know that you're the only one that have this particular look. And this is what it might look like on a dinner table and I'm hoping for a, that you will feel for your product and when you keep it for longer and you will take care but even if you break it you can reactivate the growth process so that it can heal itself and you can have it for even longer so look out maybe you will find it on Hama Plus website it was the main sponsor of the project so um, they were interesting looking at new futures of, of uh, production and um, this was all I had to say about this project, but uh, keep your eyes open about new projects in design and biotechnology, because I really truly believe that this is the future where we're going. Thank you. and have been for a couple of years, how we have to work together, researchers, designers, scientists, engineers, and yes. now you young guys are starting to put this into real production soon. Yes, I think the interdisciplinarity is a trend that is very, very strong right now. Yeah, and it's good to see real examples like that. I was fascinated when I saw your work at Comstock. Congratulations, Olaf. This is very important and groundbreaking. Thank you. Thank you.